Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. You're getting wall-to-wall -wall Thor news, Asteroid Fight Club coverage of what is now in best 90L, and I'm pretty sure will soon be at least Tropical Storm Arthur. And more models are showing a direct hit by whatever the storm will be on New York and then going into Boston with it straping the OBX bringing its outer bands all the way from Maryland, Virginia, up into New York, and then on. So, everybody take this seriously. I had talked about the period after a Venus retrograde, where we had, in 2018, we had Hurricane Michael, which is a Category 5, and at the time, most meteorologists didn't think it could intensify past a 1%. And so I'm asking people to apply the same quote-unquote rules here. Just saying that we don't know specifically what its intensity will be. You might as well just mentally and physically prepare for it to have a chance of being a Category 2, worst case, Category 3, hurricane. Nobody else is saying that other than me. But I like it when people are prepared for the worst and pray for the best. And if you've been trending and tracking 2020... You know that it has just been like a shit sandwich the whole time. Like you hadn't even finished one shit sandwich and 2020 has handed you a whole nother. Right? Like we run out of shit sandwich hands to hold. But lucky for us, the whole team, the Weather Twitter and Asteroid Fight Club team is amazing. Nathan the Nerd, now the models want this thing doing what Sandy did. If this is the case, I'm taking a direct hit. And let me tell you, being in the core of Sandy wasn't fun. I'm kind of looking forward to it, though, if it does happen. I've marked my location on the map with the red dot. And I'll say an extra pair for you and everybody else. But remind you that what the models are drawing up now, 999 millibar, um, would make it five millibars away from an actual hurricane. You know, the category really doesn't matter. It's a matter of a storm surge, rain, and just people being unprepared. And then this happens during... An actual pandemic where the right and the left have been fighting like cats and dogs. Even worse than ever, only focusing on six months away an election when we need an all-new 2020 plan now for all people, in my opinion. And I think it's always best to double-check what I'm saying with Cranky Weather Guy, Dada Boo, the Florida Webmaster, and your own sources. I do my best. Sometimes I get it wrong. Not a lot lately, though. It is this feature we've been monitoring that will dictate the entire event in the end, and it will determine where the upper level low in question ends up. And thus, any interactive draw in closer to the coast or kick out of the tropical low in question. And so this is the down piece that woke me up when I was dreaming about Selena. And that'll be the kick to everything that has gone on, on on the other side. And that kick has been explosive. And just watch how explosive that system has been overall. And so there is no reason for anybody to be letting their guard down in 2020. That is an official Star-Lord New Thor 7, your planetary defense commander, opinion. This is a red alert, man. So yeah, this has pretty much an OBX direct hit, and then a direct hit on New York, and a slide into Massachusetts. And so I will do what I can, bring you guys constant coverage of this. And if at any time you want to say, hey, thanks, Thor, here's some cigarette money, you can kick it over to my PayPal, my Venmo, or my Cash App. I'm sorry I spent too much on my groceries this month. I misplanned it. Anywho, I'm cool. You're cool. Everybody's cool. Everything's great. You're great. We take this very seriously, and everything's dangerous, and people are dying due to the pandemic. Peace out. Wait, you want some bonus stuff? Okay, you can have some bonus stuff. Yeah, it is starting to fire up, and it's got like two or three more days to go. Right now, it's scheduled to hit on the 19th by the what the models are saying. It should be three days to prepare. So you got the low coming over to meet with this front. And then you've got a little red possible tornado region. And then you've got another big storm coming into the pack northwest with Sierra snow. See that purple? That's Sierra snow. And atmospheric river conditions plus possible Idaho tip with South Dakota tornadoes as well. So it is action all over the place everywhere. And that low is definitely 
want to touch the land. All right. God bless everyone.